I'm Linda from paperboutique.blogspot.com and today I'm going to show you how to make this cute shape card from Samantha Walker. Let me just open it. If you purchase this file from the Silhouette Library, and by the way it's titled Two Bunnies, it would come, it wouldn't look like this card, it would come in several different pieces. And let me bring some of those pieces in. I didn't cut out all of them for the demo, but just wanted you to get the idea. It would come in several different pieces. And today I'm going to show you how to take these individual pieces and turn them into the shape card. And by the way, this technique will work for other SVG files and other silhouette files as well. Most of the work that we're going to do today is going to be done on the computer. So at this point, I'm going to pause and we're going to move to the computer. Today I'm using Windows 7 on my PC and the Silhouette Designer Edition software. I love the Designer Edition and highly recommend it, but you do not need it for this project. Well, I went ahead and opened the Two Bunnies file from Samantha Walker. I think it's adorable, but this technique will work with other Silhouette and SVG files as well. When you purchase the Two Bunnies file, you receive Two Bunnies, and I went ahead and ungrouped the images and then deleted the other bunny. We're just going to be using this one for our project today. Then I'll go ahead and I opened another screen just to save a little time. What I've done is I slid off the layer pieces that we're not going to be using right away to build the base of the bunny. And then I went ahead and grouped these together. And the reason I grouped these pieces, these are the ones that we're going to be using for the bunny, is so that we can make a copy that we're going to use a little bit later. I'm going to right click and copy, and then right click again and paste. And I'm just going to drag that off. And it's, we're going to be building our cards, so at this point I'm going to ungroup the images. I'm going to slide the image here. And now keep in mind when we're building our card, however we overlap them will be the final card. So I like to just overlap them a little. And we'll move the feet down. And what's fun about this technique is if you want the feet to be up higher, you can move them anywhere you want them. I want them to be pretty close together down here, so I'll do that. And then I'll just go ahead and click and move the tail. And once again, you can move it in or out depending on what you want. Now I like the shape of the bunny, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a box around it, I'm going to right click, and then I'm going to click weld. So now we have the shape of the bunny, we have the individual pieces over here. Next I'm going to draw a shadow that we're going to use for the base of our card. I'm going to click on the offset window, click on offset, and then I like the distance to be about, oh, you can do whatever you like, but I like it around between 0.7, I can't seem to get it there, 0.7 and 0.85. We'll just do it at 0.7. And then I'm going to remove the inside, and we're not going to be using this. We're going to be using the individual layer, so I'm just going to right click and cut this so it's deleted. Next, I'm going to make a copy of this and I'll show you why in just a moment. Copy and paste, and I'm going to move it to the side. This is going to become the base of our card. I'll select it, and then I'll go to one of my favorite windows. It's called the Replicate window, and I'm going to click Mirror Left because I want the card to open in this direction. This can be either folded to the back or brought over to the front. Once you do that, I would click on the image and then I'm going to use my arrow key just to move it over. We're going to weld the two pieces together so we need a little bit of an overlap. Then I'm going to use my mouse and select, oh, I didn't get both images in there. Well, I'll just hold the shift key. I'll select one image, hold the shift key, then I'll select the other image and I'll go ahead and click weld. And as you can see, it's welded. Now at this point, you could just go ahead and add the layers, but you see here there will be a line that will be folding. You'll fold it in half and you'll see that. And I don't want to see the bent edge, so that's why I did an extra layer. And you can just move that on top and that will conceal 
the fold. And then what I would do at this point is I would go ahead and cut out all the pieces. This will be your base. These are all of your individual layers. And go ahead and cut those out. Let me show you how that looks. Another trick I like to do when I'm building a card like this is I'll go ahead and fill each piece with color and then I can move it around to make sure that when I cut them all out and layer them they'll be perfect. And to fill an individual image you just select it and you'll go up to the paint bucket and since we've already filled I want to match the color use the color picker click on it and it automatically fills it. Now another trick I want to show you is if you brought this over you can see it goes behind. So what you're going to want to do is right click and bring it to the front and you're going to do that with each piece as you layer it much like you would do with paper. And now you can tell that you have all of the individual pieces that you want to cut out and they're all going to fit together nicely. I'm not going to do a print and cut with this, but I just use the colors to let me see how the image will look. Well, I'm going to go ahead and cut out the individual images and then we'll meet back to assemble the card. Well, we've gone ahead and cut out all of the images. So what I've done before I'd adhered them to the background card is I went ahead and used my Cuddlebug Dots embossing folder and embossed the tail and the stomach. The other thing I did just a little bit different is I didn't want this pink paper showing through the eyes so I just used a little piece of white paper and backed the eyes. On the larger pieces I used my tape runner and on the smaller finer details I used my two-way glue my, from Zig which I love to use when doing a shape card. Well, I would like to thank you for visiting and please visit my blog at www.paperboutique.blogspot.com for more projects and ideas. Bye-bye.